Okay, so now in this second part of the presentation, I am going to illustrate to you how you can calculate the hand hygiene adherence rate. Let's assume that you decided to monitor two indications only, not five. Let's say you decided to monitor hand hygiene before patient contact and hand hygiene after patient contact. But remember I said it depends on what you decide to measure, whether you are going to measure all of the indications or you are going to choose two specific or three specific indications or one indication. But you have to specify which one you are measuring. Okay, in this example, you measure hand hygiene before and hand hygiene after patient contact. Then here we have our ward of five patients and we have uh, different healthcare workers. Now, let's say that you start your direct observation because the method that we are using to measure hand hygiene here is called direct observation. Direct observation. There are other methods as well that you can use, but this one is considered by the WHO as a golden standard method that you can use to measure hand hygiene. Okay, so the first person that you target is a doctor. So let's say this is a doctor. And this doctor comes in, walk in the ward, and he is going to see a specific patient. He is going to see patient number one. This doctor is going to see patient number one. So it means that he has an opportunity here. And uh, the indication that you are looking at is hand hygiene before patient contact. So he will arrive. Let's say that uh, he decides to, to use alcohol hand rub. So if he uses alcohol hand rub, then you tick there that he used alcohol. Okay, then after he finishes what he decided to do, he will move out. If he does not wash his hand after uh, dealing with this patient, then you tick none. You go on a specific patient, but hand hygiene after patient contact, it's none. Then uh, this another nurse, let's say now this time it's a nurse, it's a nurse, and uh, this nurse here is then uh, okay, let's do this let's do this as i said that for one indication you can have several opportunities so this is a patient our patient number one uh, you have a doctor but you can also have a nurse for the same patient you can have this nurse here who is dealing also with the same patient this nurse is also dealing with the patient maybe he is going to administer any medication and the nurse is going to use uh, probably water and soap so you tick there that this nurse used water and soap and after contact maybe the nurse use alcohol and rub so this to show you that for one indication you have different opportunities the doctor was there, the nurse was there, and everyone has separate opportunities to wash hands before patient contact, and they had different opportunities to wash hands after contact. Then here, we have our patient, patient number two. You also check the same thing. If the doctor did not wash the hand, then uh, you click here, doctor, before patient contact, no action, no positive action taken. And uh, after patient contact, let's say he used alcohol hand rub. And there was also 
a nurse who is there and um, will use alcohol and here after patient contact this nurse use uh, hand washing with soap and water so you try to look at the third patient the third patient the doctor came and uh, no positive action after patient contact no positive action and uh, you have here a physiotherapist came to see this patient this physiotherapist use alcohol hand rub and alcohol hand rub was used there the patient for let's say this was not used by any uh, doctor but it was used by a nurse and a radiographer came to see him the nurse used hand washing before patient contact and uh, the radiographer used alcohol hand rub and let's say that the radiographer did not take any positive action and we have our last patient where the doctor came to see him this patient the doctor used soap and water and at the end he did not take any action but then the nurse also was there the nurse will use alcohol hand rub here and alcohol and rub there so this is the survey then now in the next video i'm going to show you how do you do the calculation to get the adherence rate okay